It's day 69, challenge number 43 of this tour across the UK and Europe. And for this battle, I'm in Masita, which is on the island of Malta. And it's here I'll be testing my food fighting abilities against this pizza challenge. And we're starting right now. What's going on? This is Magic Mitch, the food adventurer, and I'm at a restaurant called Pizza by Luca, and it's here that I'm taking on their 50 centimeter pizza challenge. And by the way, if you're wondering about my current attire for this challenge, or their lack of, don't worry, I'll be addressing that in just a bit. But first, as far as this pizza challenge goes, of course you've got a 50 centimeter pizza, which comes out to about nearly 20 inches of pizza, and you can customize it with your choice of toppings though it just has to be something that's a little bit more complex than just a plain cheese pizza. And after giving it some time, this is what I decided to go with. So at the base of this pizza, you obviously have the dough and the tomato sauce. Then for the other toppings, I went with some Maltese sausage, which is typically a pork based sausage. Then I also got some onions, some green olives. Then to top it all off, there is a little bit of oregano that's also sprinkled on the pizza. Now originally, I was thinking about getting a bit more crazy with the toppings because I'd just seen Randy get numerous toppings with his challenge. We're talking bacon, ham, Maltese cheese, some stuff called Wurstel which is some sort of meat based product. The best way for me to describe it is that it looks like a hot dog in shape but it has a consistency of bologna. Anyways, if you're able to finish your pizza within the 30 minute time limit, you get the meal for free which costs 16 euros and you'll get your picture up on their wall of fame. And uh, looking back at it now, I'm certainly okay with the fact that I ended up taking things a little bit simpler in this challenge. Especially since all those toppings, they weren't required. And I knew that I wasn't exactly in tip top eating shape. And I knew that my major focus for these last few food challenges was to do whatever I had to in order to slay these final food monstrosities, get the wins, and end this trip on a positive note. But at the same time, to say that I traveled all the way to Malta for food challenges, and then when I had the chance, I just went with something like pepperoni? Well, that'd be pretty lame if we're being honest here. So in this case, what I was really trying to do is ride the, uh, what would be a rather fine line at this point, between being adventurous by trying new toppings, and being too reckless by making the challenge more difficult than it needed to be, especially with my declining food fighting abilities. And now, I do want to take a moment to address the obvious question you've probably been wondering. Hey, where's the turtle armor? Where's that hoodie you always wear when you're battling pizza and pizza related food monstrosities? And while that is indeed the case 99% of the time, and believe me, I really wanted to. But here's the thing. If I put it on during this pizza challenge, there's no question in my mind that this turtle, oh man, he would have been cooked alive. <laughs> and I would have turned into turtle soup real quick. Oh my gosh, I could only imagine how awful that would have been because as I mentioned before in the previous video, it's pretty warm here and I'm basically a walking human furnace. So those two factors coming together could have easily put me in a disastrous situation. And even without the hoodie, I was already sweating like crazy if you couldn't already tell. But with that being said, and I'm being serious here, I would like to know in the comments down below, should I always, and I mean always, equip the turtle armor when it comes to pizza and pizza related food adventures? And I mean regardless, rain or shine, the condition or the circumstances. Now for the pizza itself, yeah, this pizza was pretty heavy on the sodium considering what toppings were on this pizza, but I still found it to be quite enjoyable. Though I would be lying if I said I enjoyed it the entire time. Because even though that I enjoyed the toppings, including some of those newer ones I've never had before, by the third or fourth slice of pizza, I was already getting a heavy dose of flavor fatigue after the third or fourth slice. But as always, I kept pushing through and making sure I stayed in my magical flow state, attacking this thing one bite at a time, and when I needed to, take a sip of that cool, refreshing, and crisp Diet Coke to wash away all those savory, sodium intense flavors.
Oh man, you can tell me if I made that look easy or not, but I tell you what, it was anything but. But a win's a win, and as I celebrate the victory with some post-challenge push-ups, if you enjoyed watching this video, embark on another one, and I'll see you there.